Welcome to Pearl, an extremely unique map, and by the end of this video, you're going to know everything about it. We're going to be starting on attacker's side spawn. Now, here's the thing. As I explore this map and try to explain it to you, please keep close attention to the map in the top left. It's the best way for you to keep up and learn where I am. So yeah, we're starting attacker's side with the barriers up so you can see how that looks like. The bomb spawns in this beautiful circular puddle right here in the middle. You can actually hear... Little what sounds like normal. This is the back of the map. It looks amazing. Of course, you cannot access it. We are in a dome underwater. And no, unfortunately, you can't shoot the dome. Probably the most disappointing part about the map. Starting on its uh, attacker side spawn, we're going to head on the furthest left towards B side. Once you enter the next room, it is called Mid Shops. Mid Shops has a barrier right here. And while you're attacking, you can either get up close and personal up to here or you can make these jumps right here a little bit of a leap lets you jump up here and another jump up here to get on top of this double box um, i chose a jet so i can show normal jumps as well as jumps that will need abilities to access so that's mid shops before the barrier drops if you head furthest left you enter mid club mid club is basically blocked off right at the start nothing too special while you wait for the barrier to drop Restarting from attacker's side spawn, if you head through the second furthest right, you will enter what is called mid top. And it's because you look over mid with an elevated height. There's a barrier right here, so you can't see too much quite yet. The very, very furthest right enters attacker's side spawn still into a restaurant. Now, a restaurant has a double, um, a double box that I do not think you can get up except while using abilities i tried in a couple ways you can use of course an ability to get up there oops i'm so bad i missed it but yeah you can use an ability to get up here and there's a lot of little details right so you got the staircases multiple ele elevations there you got the highest elevation up here or i guess the highest is double box second highest over here you have not quite a full cover uh not the best cover but of course if mixed in with here you kind of got a little bit of Tight peaks, and this map has this reoccurring theme, tight peaks. There's no exact gimmick on this map, but there's a lot of little, little corners like this that will add up. We're gonna restart here now that the barrier is dropped and show you how you push the map as attackers. Again, if we head into B club, the barrier was here. Now it allows us to push. You can either push aggressively through here or you can hold the top up here. Same idea, you got these little bits of barriers, though now that we're attacking, it's time to show you what's shootable and what's not shootable. This, straight through. Same thing with this, straight through. This middle isn't though. So if I am hiding back here, you might want to use this, but it's not that wide. Otherwise, all this, you can shoot straight through, all the way through. And you can't fully duck behind it. Again, there's a lot of these kind of half half points on this map. So you got to be careful about that. Anyways, if you do push aggressively through B club, it lets you enter B ramp. Now B ramp has its own variables. One is that you have this extremely, extremely long, long sight view right over here. You can push all the way into this, uh, what would they call it? I mean, it's B ramps. So I don't know if it has its own specific name. I think this is the ramp that they refer to. This one is interesting because you can hide behind it fully like this, peek here or slamp up to it like that. However, the thing you need to note about this one is that it is also not the best cover. Like this just, this just goes straight through here, as you can see, straight through. Now down here it's not, but still, if you're crouching, you get headshot, and if you're standing, you'll get body shot. So same idea, it's not the best cover. You can try to hide between this, but that's not exactly wide. So yeah, you gotta be careful on a lot of these covers here. There's an orb hidden right here in front of it, or not hidden, I guess it's just in blatant sight in front of it. As you push down B ramp, um, it gets a little more complicated because you might be trying to clear these high sight lines, but there could be someone hiding here. Um, which will most likely have a call out, which is not labeled here, but I'll let people decide what they want to call it. And there could be someone hiding here on the defender side or here. So you kind of got a lot to deal with on this side to push through here. So it is very interesting. I could see a lot of fun and frustrating fights happening down here, but eventually if you do push through this, you will enter B main or B site. Um, B site Man, okay, it's its own beast, so try to keep up here. Um, you obviously have this uh, 
little bit of a, it's not a box, it's a screen here. You can guess, yes, you can shoot through it. You can only get up it by using an ability. Uh, there's not much cover, so I don't think it's gonna be very useful to be up here, but you can get up there. As you push B site, there's a couple things you're gonna have to clear. The big one is right here, which they call B hall. It is a very, very large hole in retrospect um, that will need to be cleared as defenders can be hiding here all the way to here, how it looks on the opposite side. You're going to have to have that cleared before pushing on to B. You can see the plant area is quite generous. You can hide here, but you can get wall banged from over there, which is where the defenders are. Uh, this is not wall bangable. So you could plant here or anywhere else. Um, it looks like you can also plant right here if need be. A little bit of a cheeky spot. Um, and then... That's kind of where the attacker's side ends from the furthest right. Let's reset and go the other way. All right, instead of pushing the furthest left, you decided to go back down B mid shops. All right, so mid shops, we already showed you this part right here. Um, the rest is open. Once you push here, you got this little half doorway, right? It's not completely open. It's not its entire width. This allows you to clear this corner because it's not a deep corner. Um, this corner needs to be cleared uh, full deep. And then you're entered into Mid Plaza. Mid Plaza connects to basically every part of the map, but since we're started with B attack, we're gonna focus on B attack. Mid Plaza itself has its elevation here. It has this little weird thing here. Um, it's kind of weird, it's a little bit open, but you do get elevation and you can jump up to here, not using an ability, meaning someone could be holding this. That's something you gotta keep in mind. But before pushing any further, let's stick onto B site. So you wanna head to B from this side, you go through these, which is obviously double doors or mid doors labeled on the map. When you head to mid doors, you end up in this other area, which we have not yet seen. You got one bangable box <laughs> as cover. As you enter mid doors, there's a lot of things to be careful for. The defenders could be here because it connects directly to their spawn, which is a little bit spooky. However, if you do clear that and you decide to go through, there's a deep corner here. There isn't a deep corner anywhere else, however, other than the box, but that's wall bangable. So that's the only thing you gotta clear, but it's really the pressure from the defenders from this side that's gonna make it a little bit tricky. However, if you do get through mid, there's always like every other map, mid is the high risk, high reward. Once you control mid, you got a lot of power over B. Since your other team, let's say, Three push through here, two of you push through here, you'll have mid cleared, you can double push um, the hall back here, B hall. So a lot to go for it if you do get some mid control, but you just gotta be careful of your flank. Starting from spawn, if you head over to the furthest right, we're back here in the A restaurant. However, of course, the barrier has now dropped. You got more half cover here, very long sight line. Again, small little ramp, multiple elevations, especially if you consider these half covers are very easy to jump on, right? So that, that leads to a lot of little micro elevations in the map. You got a little bit of a deep pocket here, though it's suicide for anyone to hold it because we, you know, if you're an attacker, you'll be coming down through here. The minute they're on the stairs, you know, maybe a chamber, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like a great corner, but I'll leave it to the players to decide, not myself. Okay. So as you head through here, there's another little corner here, but it's again, not a deep pocket, but you know, I could see some iron lobbies, pull out the judge, go through here, and it's possible. Um, as you do push through A main though, you can see on the map, this is why I hope you guys are paying close attention to the map, it kind of curves, right? It's like a little, bit of a, a little bit of a curve. This curve leads to this box here. This box is not bangable from this side, however, it is bangable from this side, so it's not, bangable through its thickest part, which, you know, makes sense. There's a blatant orb, obviously, here. Um, you can clear this and this, but there could still be, be someone hiding behind it, meaning you might need to hug this, clear this, and then clear around the corner if you want to have your back covered. After you push through a main, again, a lot of little corners, you will enter a site. As we enter a site, there's a deep corner here. It's very, very open. There's the site itself, a piece of cover. Some of it's bangable, uh, some of it's not on its thickest part. Uh, you can, this is the part's kind of weird here because this is the main piece of cover and you can see how the site works, right? From here. Now the site itself is a small but dense play area. So this is extremely open. It can be planted here, but it's very, very open to both sides, right? When you enter through here, it cuts off on this side. You got a little bit of a staircase. Someone could be hiding here, right? This is all bangable. But here's the thing. If someone's also hiding here, 
this is bangable from a double side, right? So as you can see here, I shot through it. Or if you're someone with a movement ability, let's say I'm Jet, I could even jump up and clear this area here. So this window is, uh, yeah, this window is kind of crazy. It's somewhat cheeky to plant here. You can kind of plant right here on the edge, put it here, and then it can be covered from here. So uh, yeah, that, that part's kind of interesting. Quickly, I'm planting the spike. When you come back up here, you can see this little thing will have you slide down. However, if you jump crouch, you will get straight over it. And then from here, you can jump onto here even without just passive. I'm just not the best at it. But there you go. You can just make that jump. I'm not the best at it, but yeah, you can get up here. It's a little bit slanted, but same idea in the open. However, of course, if you're someone like Jet, pop, boom, you're in cover. It's kind of cool. I thought that was pretty cool. The last bit on attackers before we switch sides would be mid top. Of course, you push into here, you're into Plaza, which is an area we already explored. However, we're not attacking B through doors this time. We're attacking A. So when attacking A, you got to be careful here. Can be cleared, of course. Um, once you get into here, you can see this is quite interesting. So you got a little bit of this. <laughs> this is like actually weird. It like pushes you out a little bit. But you got a little bit of a box. Can be shot through. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard for anyone to be hiding here. So that's kind of good. No direct corner as you're pushing this. There's this box, but it is wall bangable. Um, this is called A art. You cannot get on this box as far as I know by just jumping. Uh, you can using Jet's passive, of course, from up here, just like that. And something about A art is you can tell there's holes here. So at first I thought maybe it's for this with Jet and to an extent it is, right? Like if you're the enemy Jet and you've pushed up through mid, you've already cleared this, right? Your uh, defender's Jet, sorry, and you decide to get up here. If they are pushing through here, you kind of got straight line sight on A. Of course, use the map for reference, you can see. So that's pretty sneaky. There's also another one on this side. <laughs> so it, it, is, it is interesting. However, I don't think it's exactly for Jets to double up draft with ultimates. It's obviously for lineups, right? So right now I'm using the smoke as an example, but you'd bounce the Sova arrow here to uh, directly get it for people pushing into A, and same idea here, but on an earlier side. So quite interesting. All right, you decide to push through A art, you will get into A link. Oh boy, okay, it's called A link because it links two areas together. You either will swing a hard right into A site, which we already explored. This is, yeah, you guessed it, wall bangable, woohoo, okay. Or it will link you into the other side of mid, okay, so. A link, not much cover going for it, just hard corners. You can tell it's pretty thin on the map. It will push you into the uh, attack or defender side, into mid connectors. Now this defender side, we're gonna explore in just a moment, but then it would wrap back around into mid door. So let's switch to the defender side so it makes more sense. Welcome to defender's side. We're gonna start pre uh, round where the, before the walls drop. So defender side's nice, very pretty. You got statues here, you know, Phoenix, Sage, you got Omen, you got Jet. It's a very, very pretty map. You got signs showing you A and B. And this here is actually something special. We'll get to it in just a second. So we're starting with our furthest left. Defenders is obviously much easier. It'll be quicker part of this video because as you enter defenders, you're straight on site. Right off the bat, you can set up what you need to on site. The wall is right here and we've already explored this area. So it's, it's very simple. It's extremely simple. Um, from here, of course, you can go into a link which links you to the next wall and that's this area which uh, had the two little holes, a art which we just explored. So hopefully this is making sense. This link also then continues to link you in two right over here, which is mid doors. The doors are right here, which gives you access to Plaza. So Plaza is something that will be contested. Now you can either head back through our spawn or you can head down through here, which will lead you now into B site. So yeah, as you can see, it is quite simple. You kind of already seen most of the map. However, there's a little bit you haven't seen. You head towards your left. I have no idea why, but there's also this little window over here that you can jump through. It's not glass. Um, yeah, you can, you can literally just jump through it. It's from Defender's Spawn. It's called A Flowers, right? You go over here and you jump over and then bada bing bada boom. It's because there's flowers right, right above you. And it's just like a little bit of window. This is wall bangable. Um, it's a very thin wall and it just, kind of separates entering from mid A into, you know, I kind of get the idea. It's because if you're on A right here, right? So let's say you plant here and you push up over here, you have this cleared. 
if someone passed here, you might be able to get behind them, right? You can use this box to stay quiet. You might be able to get back behind them. So it does make A a little bit more open. I, I forgot to mention that. Restarting at spawn, the last thing you need to know about this map is something that's exclusive to defenders. So as you enter this thing up here, right? So if we go down this way, you enter B site. You've seen B site, we went over it. However, defenders have the option to go up here, which is called B tower. And as the name entitles, or entitles, it is literally a tower to defend B site. Now, what makes this special is that for any agent without movement abilities, once they drop, they can't go back up. You have to actually head through the spawn of the defenders. And you gotta go right around like this. Now, it's interesting because if not everyone's dead or if there's not just one player left, by pushing through here to get to B towers, you gotta make a hard left and your back is exposed to the defender's spawn, right? So as an attacker, taking this is important, but you don't have ropes or something easy to get up, right? It's it's a lot closer to Haven. This is very similar to that um, in that particular case. Or, you know, unlike Haven, you can also just updraft. I can even updraft once, so it's a little bit better in that way. And once you're up here, there's a lot of places Jet can get in particular, and of course also people like Omen can get. Um, that's not particularly special to this map. And now you know Pearl. It is a beautiful map with a lot of things. I flew around in Ghost for quite some time, tried to go above water. It didn't really work in my favor, but it's a beautiful map. If you have any questions, leave them down below. In two to three hours, you will see the new skins and my review. Three hours after that, I will review the battle pass. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you then.